वेलकम क्लास नाइन टूडेज टॉपिक इज इंक्रीजिंग और डिक्रीजिंग प्रेशर सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव लर्न हाउ द इफेक्ट ऑफ थ्रस्ट बिकम्स लेस ऑन लार्ज एरिया एंड मोर ऑन स्मॉल एरिया सो हियर वेन द एरिया वॉज लार्ज द प्रेशर और द थ्रस्ट द इफेक्ट ऑफ थ्रस्ट वॉज लेस सो वी से द प्रेशर इज लेस आउट हियर and in this point when the surface area is less then the pressure is more since it depends on the factor on the formula pressure is equal to thrust by area so thrust being in the numerator more the numerator more will be the pressure and less the area again more will be the pressure so here today we will learn how to increase the pressure so if you need to increase the pressure on certain objects or in certain on in certain conditions then how will you increase the pressure since pressure depends on the thrust and here the thrust is the numerator and area is the denominator so thrust if you increase thrust more then the pressure will increase and if you decrease thrust then the pressure will decrease so over here also we can increase or decrease area if you decrease the area over here then the pressure will increase or if you increase the pressure again the pressure will if you increase the area then the pressure will decrease so in order to increase the pressure we will either increase the numerator that is either we will increase the thrust or we will decrease the area that is or decrease the surface area now we all understand how the increase in thrust if you increase the force that you are applying then the pressure will increase automatically so we all know how this works all right but in order to decrease uh, in order to increase the pressure if it decrease the surface area then again the pressure will increase so decreasing the surface area is one of the important factor in order to increase pressure so the example where the surface area is decreased to increase the pressure in the objects like you know board pins or simply pins here in the tip of the pins the surface area is less so when the surface area is less it has more pressure and thus it can easily penetrate through any surface so the tip of the pins or tip of the needles okay or the tip of the pins are uh, do have uh, less surface area so less the surface area more will be the pressure all right and another one is a wedge okay any you know sharp in uh, any sharp tools which is required to cut through okay any object like knife in order to cut or uh, or chop down the vegetables or simply the wedge it has the sharp and pointed you know uh, pointed edge so that it can cut through the surface and here since the area is pointed that means the area is very less so area being less the pressure will increase so by applying you know uh, by applying less amount of force also you can create a huge amount of pressure so wedge is another example next to decrease the pressure now in order to decrease sometimes we may need you know we may need at certain conditions we may need to decrease the pressure so again the formula is pressure equals thrust by area so in order to decrease the pressure we can decrease the thrust first so once you decrease the thr thrust okay then the pressure will decrease automatically or if you increase the new uh, denominator if you increase the area then the pressure will again decrease all right so we can do firstly by decreasing the thrust okay and by <coughs> increasing the surface area excuse me so over here if we decrease the thrust you apply less amount of force obviously the pressure will be decreased so decreasing the thrust we can understand how decreasing the thrust will decrease the pressure it's very simple but increasing the surface area if you increase the surface surface area that means if you are applying the force and the surface area is increased okay here the surface area is more then the amount of force that acts 
uh, you know perpendicularly to the surface that force will not have enough pressure okay that force will not be able to create enough pressure so increasing the surface area will decrease the pressure so we here the example is you know when the shoulder bag has its strap if the strap is broad enough then the pressure on the shoulders will be less so in order to decrease the pressure of the bag on shoulders the shoulder strap is made wider or broader so that the surface area increases and the pressure decreases all right so this is how it works out here secondly on the railway tracks okay in order to minimize the pressure of the railway lines or the tracks on the you know on the ground okay the pressure is acting downwards this pressure is reduced by the flat wooden pieces okay so these woods will you know decrease the pressure because the flat surfaces over here means there is a increase in the surface area and as the surface area increases it will not allow the pressure of that is the uh, pressure by the weight of the railway lines to the ground okay so this way <coughs> increasing the surface area again decreases the pressure pressure in fluids so what is a fluid so any substance which can flow is called a fluid so all liquids and gases are fluids because all liquids and gases can flow and solid is not a fluid because solid cannot flow all right so here a solid and this is a liquid and a gas we know that solid <coughs> cannot flow okay it has a rigid body it cannot flow okay and in comparison to solids the liquid can flow easily and in comparison to liquids gases can flow in any direction okay it can flow upwards as well so not only in the left or right or downwards it can flow upwards as well that's why <clears throat> liquids and solids are uh, sorry liquids and gases are considered as the fluids okay but not the solid so solid is not a fluid now solid <coughs> since its weight acts downwards okay the weight of the solid acts downwards so it can only apply the pressure in the downward direction all right so if you take a container and if you fill it with the liquid now the liquid will apply force in the walls or at the bottom of the container okay it will up, uh, it can exert the pressure in all the directions so the liquid can exert the pressure in the walls of the container as well as the bottom of the container <clears throat> but it cannot of uh, apply exert the pressure upwards so upward pressure is not seen in case of liquid but in case of gases if we have a container where the gases are kept and these are the molecules of the gases okay here the gases of the molecules will exert pressure in all the four sides of the container on the top as well as on the bottom so it exerts pressure in all the directions all right so a fluid contained in a container exerts pressure at all points and in all directions <clears throat>